Well, we are just hours out now from the deadline to file your taxes, and state lawmakers are on track to actually miss a tax deadline of their own. And the state was supposed to change its tax laws after federal changes two years ago. Those changes were supposed to take effect this tax season, but lawmakers could not come to an agreement. Our Max Gordon explains what this might mean for the average Arizonan. Cars lined up and feet stepped in. They have a huge line inside. As the tax filing deadline loomed, people rushed to the post office today to get their forms in the mail. They want to, like, file it and be done with it. But at the state capitol, lawmakers were on track to miss their own tax-related deadline. It's an unfortunate situation that we're in. Obviously, we've hit tax day, and we still don't have uh, legal conformity with the federal code. After federal tax law changes were approved in 2017, state lawmakers needed to figure out what to do with extra money set to flow into state coffers. Some wanted to hold on to it, where others wanted to give it back to the people. But instead, all that happened was gridlock. So what does this mean for people like you or me? Tax experts say there are likely three different scenarios of what lawmakers will likely do. Scenario one, lawmakers do nothing. And then we, we're good, we're done. Scenario number two, lawmakers reduce the tax rate. And they could reduce the tax rate either retroactively, in which case we'd get a refund, or beginning in 2019. And then there's scenario three, which could be a doozy. They could actually conform to the law, in which case we're talking about potentially amending our tax returns. And that's something lawmakers don't want. I don't think there'll be a scenario where people have to amend their returns or refile the returns. Which is some good news for all those hustling to make today's deadline. And even if lawmakers do pass a state tax break and we all get another refund check, it's probably not going to be very much. Tax experts say that because Arizona's taxes are already so low, the average taxpayer would only get back around 100 bucks. Guys, back to you.